Hey everyone, Julian here. Um, today I just want to show you how to tune your 808s in FL Studio because it's something I find people stumbling with a lot and I want to just go ahead and share my knowledge. So, to start off with, I have this little beat that I put together. It's pretty simple. And I'm at the point where I usually try to come up with a melody or like some chords or something but that I can't because I don't know what key the 808 is in. I have the 808 program playing a B here, but this doesn't always, what the piano roll says doesn't always line up with what note is actually being played. And the reason for that is because this is based on if your, your sample is tuned to C. Now, this 808 may be tuned to C. A lot of 808s are tuned to C. But if it's not, you're going to have to get it tuned to C, which is very simple to do. Um, what you're going to do essentially is you get you put this in a mixer track so i already have it in a mixer track and on slot one i'm going to grab this plugin called g tune now what g tune does is it's just a very simple nice tuner that just it's very much just gets the job done um i'm pretty sure it's not available for mac if it's not i'm have a bunch of others in the description they're just links to download them so you can get this there as well as g tune what we're going to do is i'm going to open this back up and I'm just going to click on the sampler thing. And we're just going to play this a bunch of times. And we'll see if it's actually tuned to C. Okay, so this 808 is tuned to C. And again, most are. But you'll have one sometimes where it'll be in kind of a weird spot. So it's just good to know. Um, and what I'm seeing is... This isn't not going straight to that green line in the middle. When it's perfectly in tune, it'll be right in the middle. So what we need to do is look at this little readout where it says how many cents off it is. Think of cents are sort of in between semitones. So if a semitone is like C to C sharp, cents would be all the little mini uh, frequencies in between there. So you want it to get perfectly on the note. So you have to figure out how many cents it's out of tune. In this case, it's 12 because that's what it sits on. And then just fix that using this pitch shift. So, so if I go here, you can look up top here. I'm going to go minus, minus 12. Okay, there we go. Because this said it was plus 12. So we got to go minus 12 to get back down. And now it's perfectly in the middle. I guess it still says minus 2. Um, you can try to fix that if you really if you're really about it like that. Um, I'm just going to keep mine at minus 12 because I don't think I can get this perfect here. But as long as it's hitting that green line, it's going to be all right. And the reason why you want to do this is because a lot of times if it's like here, like more on the yellow part and it's like slightly out of tune, you won't hear it as much. But there will be like sort of this like warbliness in your beat and your 808s aren't even going to hit as hard actually because it's going to be slightly out of tune from all your other elements that are being played by synths or loops or whatever that are that are going to be that many cents out of tune with your 808. And so your 808 is going to be creating this weird sort of warbling out of tune effect. And it's just going to make your beat not hit as hard and just sound kind of wonky. You know, you really want to get this right. Um, and you'll also notice that it's going down in pitch over the course of time when I play the sample. Which I'm not too concerned with. That's caused by the 808 having what's called a pitch envelope. So a pitch envelope is similar to an amp envelope where you start at a certain point and then it goes to a certain point, either up or down. So on a pitch envelope, usually the way it would be set up would be like this. It would be sort of more of a, uh, well, more of like a, a ramp down. So you would have like something like this. If I can get this to uh, do the shape. Okay, there we go. So usually you would have something a little bit more like this with a pitch envelope where it just starts at that pitch and then goes down. And that's what causes the little bit of a, uh, of a sweep that you see on the tuner. That's what causes it to go down. So it's an important thing to keep in mind that as long as it ends on the green, you're good. And... Yeah, I accidentally just sent this to a bunch of different tracks. Nice. Um, But yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I just want to show you how to tune your 808s. Like I said, very easy. Really nothing too crazy here. 
Um, the main thing is keep in mind or just keep it like in tune with make sure that it's not only on the right note, but it's also got the right um, amount of sense out of or in tune, if that makes any sense. I'm really stumbling with my words here. I apologize. I'm a little bit sick. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to like this video, uh, subscribe, share the video if it really helped you. And I will see you guys again tomorrow for another tutorial.